So you're a pain in the butt, is what I'm going to say. <laughs> Get back here, Josh. Just get us a camera and say hello to everybody. Uh, you're right, he's my oldest grandson. I've got James on board, who's my his brother, sorry, Josh's third brother coming down the line. And uh, we're out here to show you a good time today. We're going to work really hard. We're albacore fishing today. My favorite fishery is the hoot. Um, we're going to start out trolling, and we're just going to troll five lines. And then uh, on the sides, we'll have a jig here and a jig over there on the sides. We're going to let those out about 15 going across. When you get a fish on, you got to be watching the rods, and you got to stop the fish. And you don't stop an albacore by holding the rod like this and say, oh, I got something on. Um, I'm 70 years old. I'm going to brace myself. I'm going to hold the rod about this angle back here. If you have to keep a light thumb on there, don't put it too heavy, you'll burn your thumb. But just like so, and hold it like there to stop it. Because if you don't stop them, there's a spool that's a less than a minute. You know, so you got to really slow them down. So just about right there, hold it. Woohoo! And uh, <laughs> then battle on. You know, people, when we get a hookup, I need five people reeling in these, these troll jig rods. The bait rods are right here, and we're going to go to live bait right yeah. away. We want these out before the boat, the, the boat is slowed down just about, you know, just as the boat slowing down, we want a couple of bait rods out, come and stick it right off the corners here, let them out. Then, on bait, you're going to, it's a little different uh, program, you're going to loosen up the drag. Matter of fact, you want to just loosen up the, kind of hold it without backlashing, but very light, light drag. When the fish hits, Keep a light thumb on the spool because you don't want the backlash on you. Don't bear down on it. Count to ten. Now, when I say count to ten, I don't mean one ten. You know, <laughs> you can't count by tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. That big spool, and you're going to be panicking. Seven, eight. Your eyes about this big around now. Nine, ten. Now start tightening up the drag. How far do you let the bait out? Um, you're going to let the bait out on, on bait. Um, you're going to let it out. A lot of times they'll hit right at the boat if they're swimming around the boat. But as soon as that bait hits the water, you might have a fish on. Otherwise, just kind of let her out, kind of watch the little line. Let it out about, I don't know, I let it out about uh, anywhere from 10 to, to 40, 50 arm lengths of line out. And then I'm going to just slowly crank it back up and, and let it out again or make sure your bait's swimming. So when you check your bait, you want to make sure it's kind of swimming around the water because that's what those fish are looking for. When you're tuna fishing, you guys, we might get four or five on at once. The odds of getting all those in are, are rare, you know, because once the tuna makes this run, he's going to run a couple of times, then they're going to sound, and then they do what I call the tuna dance. You'll see them down there because the water's really clear. They're going to be swimming around like this down there. It's just big circles. Well, guess what? If you're sitting next to another person and you both have fish on, they're both doing this big circle. If you aren't doing the tuna dance with them, you're going to be all tangled up. So you got to really cooperate and talk to one another. Uh, and you have to be circling up here while they're doing this down there, or else you got a big dot and you'll break them both off. A lot of times people get really tired at the end. They drop their rod tip down and that tuna feels that slack line and you're going to lose everything you gain. Your job today is to have a great time. Put a smile on your face, we're going fishing, enjoy the trip. We'll take us about two and a half hours or better to get out there. We're going out about 40 miles offshore, plus the distance it takes to get to the jetty. What are your hopes and dreams for today? To get five around, that'd be good. Five around, huh? Yeah. It's doable. Yeah. For sure. Clear. Bring in the regular.
So you gotta get grab these rods and then hand us the hook. Real quick, I see fish boiling out there. Yeah, that's what I think. We gotta get those things out, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, let's get it. Yeah. You don't need gloves for this. Let's get it out there. No, let's get that gear out. Guys, we gotta get that out. Yeah. That's what we call her hooking Yeah, that's how we do And those biceps, Karen. Oh my god. <laughs> Move over this way. There you get a little separation. That's the one you have color anywhere. Oh. There she is. That's incredible. Yeah, that oh my god, my arms hurt. <laughs> You're doing the tuna dance. <laughs> I can see him right under the Yeah, I see him. up to the surface here. If we don't get anything soon, we'll go back on the wheel and try it again. Right. So they're schooled up, they're running around. We saw a bunch of them uh, stand up. Yep. Kind yep. of drove through, and then all of a sudden it was fish on and fish on, hook up, yeah. We got a live bait out quick and yes. got a few fish in the boat. Yeah, yeah. That's a good start. Yeah, it is. Let's get a few more. <laughs> oh no, 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 okay you got it okay all right good okay yeah get a little too soon yeah. count the 10 you have to let him run count the 10 yeah you have the drag really loose to begin with let him run it for about 10 seconds. Just let him peel out like crazy for about 10 seconds. Then you tighten up the drag pull. Five, six, seven, eight, oh. nine, and <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, see that one jump? One, two, three, four. That one? Look Five. at that, karma. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Stop. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pay attention, pay attention. Give her, give her a minute. Give her a minute. And don't, you gotta hold your right out away from the boat. And in this case, don't get it up high. Don't get it high. Come through the boat. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll step back. Let me come underneath into that. Same thing with the other. Oh, you got one on too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now move this way. You walk the all your fish. Is this the tuna dance? Yeah, there you, you go. You guys are. All right. We got you four. dancing. 
Looking fish, huh? Pretty exciting stuff. We got hookups all the way around the ball. This is less than an hour out here, and it's just crazy. Crazy good. <laughs> For the wicked tuna. Yeah, this is our first trip of the year, and uh, I've got several books from here on out, so I probably got 20, 25 trips coming up. Great. So, so those trips go through September, is that right? Yes, yeah, so we'll fish uh, through mid September, maybe a little later if they're still hanging around. And if I'm still walking. <laughs> You've seen some other kind of tuna out here besides albacore. Well, last year we, we got a bluefin. It, it went 56.3 pounds, which which was uh, considerably heavier than the state record at 32 pounds. So, yeah, it was exciting. A long time, man. I had him all the way up there, and then yeah, he dove. He just ran. Oh! That's good, though. Yeah. Brady, you got a hook up, too? I'm hooked up. Oh, and there's one right behind you. You get right in the boat. Gonna have to come over. Yeah. Over. That one's running on them. One, two, three. He's doing great. <laughs> giving me a tussle. He went under the boat. <laughs> going like crazy. This is a great time. Yeah. I can see some color there. Oh, he gives no one. Oh yeah. It was nice seeing those boils earlier. Yeah, that was fun. Yep, down there the color. Oh, 
bloody decks. And bloody decks too. Oh, and Francis, yeah, all the way around the back of the boat. It's a big fish. Hillary, are you hooked up? You got like 30 pulled up? This fishery, Pat? I like this fishery. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Woo. Heck yeah. Well, those guys are figuring it out back there. I mean, every rod. It must be because I've got one on. <laughs> <laughs> This is a big one. Yo, you starting to get worn out on these fish? It's about this. It's like, oh, kill on. How many you got so far? Two. Two wins. This is my third one. Okay. And Joe, how many? Two and a half. Right, you can beat that fish. Beat him, Joe. Beat him. Good fish is like, you know, it, it's it's better than the average. Let's put it that way. And, and normally, on, on bait stops, you might get three or four fish on bait stop. Oh, we got a fish on right now. Fish on. I think there's some fish here. Let's go find out. James and Josh getting it done. Okay. <laughs> they have been working all day. Let's go, Randy. It's going great. I've never caught so many perch in my life. <laughs> Gaff them because if you gaff them, you get a lot of blood in the meat and it ruins the meat on them. So you want to get that meat nice and clean. So you got your deck hands crewed to get it down there on the net and put them in the ice box, huh? That's uh, that's the secret right there. Good quality fish. Wow, this has just been amazing. Ran into a pot of whales. They're surfacing all the way around. 
beautiful, great conditions, and again, just a first class crew here on the Four Seasons. There was a blue shark? How big blue is shark. It He's coming after my bait. I'm going for it, get it out. I'm getting it out of the way! Oh, oh no! He took it! Hey, we're just finishing up a great day on the water, uh, going after these albacore with Pat Shank here. It was it's, amazing out there. Yeah, it was a perfect day, I'll tell you that. Flat ocean and the fish were biting. So it was wonderful.